Welcome to Hidden Pearls, where we are privy to pearls of wisdom from people we know and admire. I am your host, Winter Patterson. Today's guest is a trailblazer. She is a passionate philanthropist, a mother of four, life coach, inspirational speaker, author, and wife of seven-time NBA All-Star and Hall of Famer Tracy McGrady. Please join me in welcoming Miss Clarinda McGrady. Welcome to the show. Hey, thank you for having me. Thank you so much. You kind of rede redefine the term basketball wife. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I mean that in, in the most respectful way because you are very vocal about your love for Christ. Mm -hmm. And you also, I was reading, you have a master's in education. Yeah. You were already a speech pathologist before you got married. Uh -huh. So you already kind of had your own thing and you still do, which is such an inspiration. So mm -hmm. my hat off to you. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. So in your book and on your website, you talk about overcoming fear, insecurity, and doubt in order to move toward your purpose. Yes. What types of things did you have to overcome? For me, um, although on paper everything looked nice and, and, and like everything was in order, inside I was having some struggles with just that, with just, am I good enough, you know? Mm -hmm. um, there were things that I wanted to do, but I questioned myself and doubted myself. Mm -hmm. Or I'd say, okay, I'll, I'll do it a little later. Or, you know, would find a way to self-sabotage, basically. Mm -hmm. And it really all came down to fear, insecurity, and doubt. Fear. Fear of, well, what if I'm not good enough? Fear of, ooh, maybe I can't do it like winner can do it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, doubt of, well, what if no one agrees or no one shows up or, you know, no one validates it? Mm -hmm. You know, so we have all of these internal things going on. And so for me, it was just a matter of getting to the point where I just wasn't fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Again, on paper, everything looked great, but internally there was some struggles because I knew that I had been given some gifts, given gifts and talents and mm -hmm. things that I needed to be able to be expressive with and creative with, and I wasn't using those to the best um, of what I should have been using. Now, you do a lot of life coaching, and then you create events to empower and inspire women and girls. Mm -hmm. Was there, you know, what life experience drives you and gives you that passion for women like you have? For me, I understand, I've had women in my life that have really uh, empowered me and encouraged me mm -hmm. and I know again just what just that one sense of encouragement or empowerment what that can do for the next woman and so I just believe that you know if we have that platform or that atmosphere to create that mm -hmm. oh my gosh and so I think that you know every woman should be able to go out and have that opportunity to step into her next mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and sometimes all it takes is for that one person or that one event to light the fire in her for her to go and do that I would imagine it takes a level of security in yourself to really know and want other women to shine. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And particularly in today's culture, where there's so much competition, competition going on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, and I look at it like there is more than enough for all of us. It's just like oxygen. We're not going to run out of oxygen, That's right? right. That's right. So we're not going to run out of opportunity and getting to our next best for each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. and so I think that, no, if we can empower each other and help each other, which we can do, why not? Now, one thing I have noticed and that I love about you you is when it comes to service you get your hands dirty mm. you don't just it's not just writing a check like you actually get in and serve yeah. and I partic I read about this past year during Hurricane Harvey mm -hmm. you and your husband decided to throw a barbecue yeah. for a third war yeah fed over 800 people or more yeah. tell us about that whether you lived here in Houston or not I think we all were impacted some kind of way absolutely by Hurricane Harvey mm -hmm. Um, even if your home, if you were safe, we, we all went through that together. Mm -hmm. And um, again, for me, I, I have a heart to serve. So we were like, at this time, people really needed that sense of community. Mm -hmm. They needed the sense of hope. Mm -hmm and that someone cares and, and they so probably the, needed a break a br exactly from what and was going exactly on. and mm -hmm. so of course that particular community is already struggling with b before hurricane harvey mm -hmm. and so when that came you got to think that you know 
we want to be able to create an atmosphere that although Hurricane Harvey may have washed away your home, your, your car, your personal belongings, it didn't wash away our spirit and our tenacity mm -hmm. and our hope for what we can do as a community. So what do you have going on right now? Because you always have these great conferences, you yeah. have these great events that really just help women to move into their purpose. So yeah. tell me everything you have going on right now and how you, we can sign Everything. No. <laughs> for the past several years, I've had my Women Who Push conference. Mm -hmm. But it's more of an experience, actually. Mm -hmm. It's really a time for women to get together and um, really encourage you to go to your next. Mm -hmm. We really get deep into peeling back, peeling back the layers to figure out you know, the things that keep us stuck and mm -hmm. stagnant as women. October 27th, mm -hmm. and um, we're still working on all the details. Mm -hmm. I would love for the city of Houston to come. We've got some great speakers. This year's theme is reconnection. Mm -hmm. Reconnect with self, with others, and with the world. And I really felt that that um, theme was important for me because we get so busy, mm -hmm. you know. We get so busy with wearing so many different hats and doing things. I think sometimes we just find stuff to do so we can stay busy. Because right. I think the world has taught us the busier you are, or at least the busier you look, then you are doing it. You the know? more important you Right, are. exactly. Mm -hmm. And so we have... Um, falling for the lie that we've got to stay busy mm -hmm. and when our busyness is really killing us mm -hmm. literally absolutely you know there are so many people my age and younger that are going through health issues because of busy the stress of being busy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and busy doesn't mean productive it does not well I want people to go out and get this book yeah push through redefine and create your own success story yeah. this book is has so many good nuggets for how to get through how to step out you talk about faith i do and i yeah. think uh, any woman if you if you feel like this is your year this is your yeah. season this is a yeah. great place to start so yeah. and then where is it available go to my website which is clarindamagrady.com mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for yeah. coming on the show. Where can we find you? You can find me uh, at my website, clarindamagrady.com. Uh, I'm on Instagram at clarinda.magrady, as well as Facebook. And if you know me personally, you can call me. There you go. <laughs> Well, we thank you so much for your time. I believe that your spirit of giving and gratitude is infectious. Uh, and you. I hope that we got some great pearls from you. I know we did because I, I could have taken a couple of notes. So thank you. God bless you and thank you. Likewise. Thanks for having me.